All right, welcome back. Um, so this platform, yeah, it work, but it's quite annoying that we have to keep like dragging stuff in here. It, it get messy. So why don't we do it better? Wait, right, can we do this a little bit better? Um, let's delete all of these. So just click on all the platform, delete all of them. Um, and then we're going to right click. Okay, yeah, we're gonna right click, insert new object. And we are going to add a new tile map. So click insert and just insert it in here. All right, so that's the default tile map. So what we want to do now is when we want to load the platform from the asset pack. So we go back to the asset pack, terrain, uh, and then we're going to use these. So we're going to drag this in here. And then there's a couple options that we can choose from. Why don't we use this one? Because this one looks cool. So you want to go to this selection tool and we want to select this box right here. So make sure you select everything in here. Like such. All right, close enough. And then we're going to click the crop button right here. And now only this will remain. Um, okay, so we close this. And then, so now we click it here, the tile map is selected. We're gonna go to over here. And you can see we have a uh, image available here. So we can pretty much just paint this in here. Um, so it, it works like a grid, like such. But this is kind of small. This is very small compared to this. Uh, so let's undo that. Let's resize this. So make this a little bit bigger. So we go go back to the um, tile map, and then we're going to go to add an image. All right. Then we're going to click this. This is a scale button. We're going to change this to one hundred by one hundred. Oh, you know what? Let's make it a little bit smaller. Fifty by fifty. All right. And then we can close this, and then ask us the in the tile map property. There's a Thing called tile width and height. Let's put 50 and 50 in there. And then we'll get a bigger size. So this is the draw tile. You select this and click this to draw on it. And this is the eraser. So if you click and don't like it, you can always erase it like this. So it seems like 50 50 is still too small. Let's make it a little bigger. Um, let's make this 80 by 80. Okay, all right, so we can change the size back to 80 by 80. Okay, yeah, that's more like it. So this is a little bit easier to design uh, level. You can also drag. I don't know, something like that. Here you go, that's our first level. And if we click play, see what happened. Ah, you fall right through again. What did I forget? Well, these are just images right now. They're not solid object. So I guess I need to go back to the behavior, add new behavior, and make this solid. Okay. And then we can click play. There you go. Now it's a stand on it. So this is a much more efficient way to make a level because it's easier to just work off a of grid. Except I'm still not thinking that jump, but that's okay. We can change the design a little bit later. All right. So uh, why don't you work on this? Uh, and then we're going to do more stuff on the next tutorial. So I'll see you soon.